in the other videos, we've talked about being here and there in different positions, of seeing the whole picture and going inside into the detail, of making links and seeing the patterns, of using the mapping process to build a kind of analogy of the story or a parallel to the story. And in seeing patterns from the story, we can see patterns in our relationships and so on. And it can get quite messy and quite complicated. And what we're seeking to do is develop a capacity in the speaking, in the conversation, in the storytelling, in the relationship to hover between different points of view, different positions, between going into the detail and seeing the whole picture, and zooming in and out. I think hovering is about zooming. Hovering is about holding in mind more than one position, more than one idea. And at the same time, as we see the feeling here, maybe this is sad, this is angry, this is confused, who knows what the different feelings are. We are shimmering between them as we touch them and connect with them. We're living with mixed feelings. And this capacity to mix, live with mixed feelings whilst hovering with contrasting and conflicting ideas is not something we can easily do without a map to hold and shape our listening and sharing relationship. With the map, we can begin to be above it. And you might even put it one way, that as we talk and use the map to help us keep track, we're going into the map. And sometimes it's almost like you see a word here, help, and you go inside the very word. You're, you're almost merging with or being part of the map. Sometimes you're pulling out and being an observer. I particularly like the distinction that uh, Harry Stack Sullivan made many years ago as a father of interpersonal psychiatry, that we are both participating in helping and reflecting in therapy and uh, work with people and we're observing we're both uh, let's put it up here so well that you can see it a participating observer and this participating is all about being involved emotionally and intellectually through the uh, work of mapping and talking together sometimes we're more like outside the map and sometimes we're more inside. Sometimes you might say, where am I on the map? Oh, I'm here and you're there. You're doing this and I'm feeling that. This interactivity, getting our hands, if you like, on the words on paper as a way of showing our concern and commitment and curiosity with each other. This is hovering then, zooming, and I haven't written the third word down shimmering. Now shimmering is a word that comes originally from Marty Horowitz who wrote about cognitive psychodynamics. Shimmering for him was between too much emotion, high emotion and low emotion. That's true, there are different intensities in the feelings on different parts of the map or at different times or in different ways of orchestrating the map. But equally there are different uh, places on the map with different states of mind or states of feeling. Think about this process of hovering and shimmering as the process of mapping unfolds. It's not about getting a map done, it's about being in the disentangling, co-creating space of mapping.